idea of the shocking uh, Other way. Does that matter? Testing, <laughs> <laughs> testing. This is my uh, tribute to this lovely village that we're in tonight. From the perspective of someone who was maybe not familiar with the town, who, you know, had his own preconceived notions. I hope you enjoy it.
we thought it'd be interesting if you heard it performed by a few people who have never seen it. Humphrey Bogart. Rock the fly, your baby. <laughs> With a Dixie melody, sweetheart. Run a tone, run a tone. Ah, the Dixie. And it better be, better be from the heart of Dixie. <laughs> You'll get a knuckle sandwich. You get that. Jimmy Cagney. Trash hang that cradle. <laughs>
Indian wife that Medicare picked up 80% of the honeymoon? <laughs>
And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just set up our brains for a long winter's nap when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. What's a clatter? It's when my dad uses to put up the light bulb. Do we not have Kid 5? Yeah, we're missing somebody. Yeah, Kid 5. My dad fell off! He was the one changing a light bulb and he said a word that's not a one else. Let's get back to the story. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. I away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. I threw up once and it made a splash. Please, please! The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow. He said, breast. <laughs> Gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. I thought it was Santa Claus! It is Santa Claus, it's just, it's just another name for Santa Claus, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> More rapid than eagles, uh, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. What about Rudolph? That's a different story. Uh, let's just skip ahead a bit, shall we? All right. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. Uh, I like cherries. I like strawberry. Oh, I like kumquats. <laughs> <laughs> His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. Sally, you're incorrigible. Uh, the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He should smoke. <clears throat> he had a broad face and a little round belly. Santa really needs to watch his weight. No, that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He should be careful about accumulating belly fat. Because it is a strong predictor of cardiac disease. Daddy's <laughs> fat. <laughs> what did I ever do to deserve this? <laughs> Let's skip ahead. I'm so sorry to hear about your father's obesity. <laughs> he spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. <gasps> he called Santa Bandy! No. And laying a finger aside of his nose. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Lately, 
see it.
flashback. I got flash. something special Whoa. for you. Hey.
used to be something of a rover. That's what's happening all over. Love's this thing that's Wiggum. And it looks like Nathan's another Wiggum. When you see a guy reach for stars in the sky, you can bet that he's doing it for some dog.
This time, <laughs> I really need to take a drink because this you need to mellow out a little bit. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I got there a smooth you go. move coming up in a second if I have to this. Um, yeah, there's a lady I gotta tell you about. I, I need some advice, and I think I could use Ooh, this guy with an old friend. What what this guy here. There, there we go. Uh, the voice uh, of wisdom. The voice of wisdom. All right. Um, if you could listen closely. Okay. They call you Lady Luck, that's a name. Okay. And there is room for doubt. Sometimes you have a very unladylike way of running out. You're on this date with me. The pickings have been lush, you can take it. No, I don't want it. And yet before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might forget your manners. You might refuse to stay, and so the best that I can do is pray. Shark bites with its teeth. 
rain, sky billows start to spread. Fancy gloves, though, has old antique made. Leather, never a trace of red.
Thank you. 